Uh-huh. It says, what is your full name? Vina Rebecca Johnson Dixon Cato. And how did your parents select that name? Do you remember if there's any special story that went with your name or how you got picked? Mama said Dad named all of us children, and he had this friend, really he drank with him, a Walter Camel, and he had a sister named Vina. So he named me Vina, and Rebecca's my grandmother's name on, on, on Mama's side. Johnson. And, John, and of course, Dad was a Johnson. And his mother, was a Thurman. Was a Cassidy. Grandma was a Cassidy. Mm -hmm. And um, mother's mother was a Cassidy. Mm -hmm. And her mother was a Pokeson. A Pokeson? Pokeson. And her mother was a Brown. The grand mama's grandmother was a Brown. Now I think that was just married into, you know, that way it wasn't blood kin. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know, we are kin to the Browns. We are a distant kin from the Browns. Yeah. When and where were you born? In Chesterfield County, in oh. a little old log house called a Cynthia house. A what house? <laughs> Cynthia. Named Cynthia. Woman lived in it. Her name was Cynthia. And we always called it the Cynthia House. <laughs> uh, where is it? In Chesterfield. Where about, at in Chesterfield? About four miles back out on 145. 145. Mm -hmm. What was the date you were born? November the 18th, 1916. 1916. How did your family come to live there? They were <coughs> brought up from there in the, in the beginning. Mama lived close to around Sugarloaf Mountain in, in Chesterfield County. and. And uh, grandpa's grandmother, <laughs> grandmother's yes. grandmother's people was born, what lived in Ruby, South Carolina, and they were Thurmans. Ruby. Uh, Grandma Johnson was the Lively Ann Thurman, and they called her Dink. And Grandpa Get your hand out of your face. was named. Uh, uh, he was William. Edward Johnson. No, no. I believe with John Henry Johnson was his daddy, wasn't it? There's a picture of him out for him. Well, I know a picture of him, but that don't tell me where he lived, where he come from. I reckon he come from what I call the old place. That was the Johnsons on that land in there, my grandfather. So all the Johnsons lived around each other, but was everybody in that yeah, same area? Yeah, they had, yeah, sure was. A, a Doc Johnson, you see, his name was John, John Henry, I believe, and he lived across a little creek from my grandfather, William Edwards. Mm -hmm. And they were first cousins to, to my dad. The, uh, what was the house like you grew up in? <coughs> Just old, old shack houses and a log house. Was it one bedroom or one room? The log house was one, one room and had this big fireplace as wide as this table, that right long. And it was made out of rock. You know, it was, they just put the rocks, make the chimney. Mm -hmm. Put it together with cement. And then there was a kitchen. We called, the kitchen was uh, set off from the house and it was a log house, just one big room with a fireplace in the end and a door. And, Got in one door and a little window. Little so the house you grew up in was there bedrooms in it, or is it just one big room? Just one bedroom. The log house you've had two beds back here, and then they later on they built a, what they called a shed room. Built a little side room onto it, and there was two bedrooms there. One little bedroom and another one. And how many people were living in that house? Uh huh. How many people lived in the house? Well, it all, of, and all of us, nine children. Nine when, children? When we lived there, that's where my brother Jack was born, the baby one. And he's born on Sunday. And they made us take, made the, the made, we had to take the Darcy and Leo and go down to what we called the Cynthia House and stay down there. <laughs> Grandpa was Mr. When Hayden. Jack was born. And Ethelene, she stayed in the kitchen and cooked dinner and kept water hot and stuff like that and kept Beeler. He was the baby. What's your earliest childhood memory? Lord, I don't know. Uh, one is when Leo was born in March of 21, 
and I remember when she was born, and I had a cousin lived up from us, uh, was my mama's first cousin, and he was born at that same time, I remember that, and they said his mother was 50 years old, and her name was Joanna Cassidy. That was Russell. That son, some of them I remember, remember some of the children kind of getting lost when we lived there. I don't know who it was, me or older ones, she said. And I remember her, must have been some of them younger than me because I remember her going down these to field paths where they worked in the fields or looking for them. <laughs> or looking for her, it would have been Dorothy, I reckon. Yeah. It says, what was the personality like of some of your family members? First what? The personalities of your family members. Like, what was your dad like? What was your mom like? What were your brothers and sisters like? That's a hard one to answer. They were friendly people. Grandma was my dad. Yeah, my dad, my dad was, he was kindly educated out of the family more than any. They just went to school in the one speller book back then, the blueback speller book. That was the only book they had, and I think he got the most education because I had, I had one uncle couldn't even write. I remember that. But my dad would figure for the community there. What did he do for a living? He was a farmer. He put down pumps and and like that, and worked in pulp wood sometimes, and he and we farmed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. How about your mother? What was she like? She was a good person. <laughs> she was a hard guy. worker. Hard worker. Mm -hmm. Oh, had a garden with not one sprig of grass. On. Grass then. She'd get it, somebody to plow it up for her. That was after she come to Hartsville. And run off a of rose and then she'd plant it and work it with a hoe. Who? Grandma. Grandma, yeah. 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 Johnson. The hard way. Yeah. And she always had her potato patch. And she healed her potatoes. She, at the end of the road, she would dig a hole and she put pine straw in there. And then a round hole. Yeah. Round hole, and then you put your potatoes and pile them up in there. Then you're taking corn stalks if you had them, and made up like a tee, teepee, what you call it, tent. Uh -huh. Teepee. Yeah, and then uh, she put straw, pine straw, all around that, and she put pine straw in the bed, and then she put dirt, and where these things crossed at the top. The, you left that open and you put a tub or something over it so it could they could cure out and they cured out in the hill and then when you went to get potatoes you dug your hole out in that dirt and you had to reach hand in there you made your hole and get potatoes out and then you stop it back up. So that was a way to keep them good for keep a long time? That keeps them, that's about the only way you can keep them. They cure them in mm -hmm. uh, tobacco barns with heat and stuff now, but then it's not, they're not as good as they used to be. But, she used to have one down at the end of the garden down there. Yeah, she always, mm -hmm. she healed her, she bedded her potato sheep. They called them drop better potato splits. Or, Anyway, she bedded them little potatoes and they come up and grew these plants. And they call them draws, potato draws. I don't know why. I don't know how you even spell it. Do you remember your grandparents? Yeah. What were they like? Well, m my grandfather Johnson died when I was about four or five. I just remember him. He was blind 20 years before he died. And I remember seeing him split wood. It scared me. Ooh. Uh, feel it and then hit it. Huh. And he had him a little walk from, we call where we slept the big house and the kitchen. And he had him aboard here to the well, the well. And then it went from the well to the kitchen and he'd walk that. And he on had some- On the ground? Huh? A board on the ground? Yeah. He didn't have a yeah. rope for anything? Yeah, just a little board like. He didn't yeah. have a rope to guide him, uh -uh. you know? And he used snuff and tobacco and these friends was over there one day and they said he was sitting in the door of the house of the log house and there was a porch across the front and it had cracks of course and it said and he felt down and 
felt the crack and the spit rocked through it and said they couldn't spit through it looking at it. <laughs> yeah, and Grandpa Rich, Richard, he was a hard working man. He grew a lot of grapes and I think he must have made wine because he sure would have had a lot of grapes. You know. Mama had how many sisters, brothers and sisters she have? She had three brothers. Well, she had Towns and Allen and Warren and the boys, and she had one Mary Elizabeth or something like she died before I ever got in the picture. And then you had uh, one named Ellen and Mama and Effie and Easter. So that was a good sized family. That was, that was my grandfather Cassidy's children. And Grandpa Johnson. He had, um, Come here, Molly. Come on, Molly. Come Daddy was Joseph Come Alexander, and John Henry Johnson, and <laughs> Whirly Willie, you ain't gonna believe it, that was one of the boys' names. <laughs> Whirly Willie, he always called us F.W.W. Will Johnson, Uncle Will. And then she had Aunt Fee, Aunt Ida, Aunt Della, that was your grandma. That was on daddy's side. Daddy's side. Daddy, my dad's people. Yeah, but that was your grandma. Dink was my grandma, the live in. Yeah, daddy's mom was my grandmother. And uh, had one to die named Dolly. What kind of games did you play growing up? Oh, Lord. <laughs> Jump rope. Jump the board. One on one end and one on the other one. Have it. I was something under it, and I'd get on one end of the board and over on the other, and she'd bounce me up, and I'd bounce her. We'd just go way up, y'all. <laughs> Come down and hit that board, throw her up. And we had seesaw boards that you went round and round on, 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 on a, kind of like a You're stump, right. kind of like a stump, mm -hmm. you know, and, and put a board on there and a boat to it so it went round and round. Mm -hmm. hmm. And when we lived at the old place now, and when we moved away from there, I was in the third grade, and I made the third and fourth, me and my sister in one year. And we made us a wagon before we left the old place. We slipped off the cross-cut saw, like out there, and sawed down a pine tree. Wow. And, and sawed us four wheels. So, right. yeah. And we had this, they call it bracing bits. We bore a mm -hmm. hole with, we bored us a hole through the center of each block mm -hmm. and we got us some straight dogwood to make the uh, axle 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 that's right and then we we cut it down around and hewed it off and left it so big a one sticking out that we could put us a nail through it and then we nailed a board from the axle to the front to the back axle and the back axle didn't have to work but we had a rope to pull the guide the front with <laughs> and we put us a box on the end of the board at the back to sit in. So you had a good time with that. Yeah. Well, we didn't have a box big enough hardly for me and my sister that made it to really sit down in it. But my younger sisters <laughs> could get in, brother, and get on a hill and just go down it for a long time. Yeah. So sure. whatever happened to that? I don't know, but I wish I had a picture of it. But we made it. <laughs> you were so proud of it, huh? Oh, well, yeah, it was, I thought that was good. To, for for eight-year-old. Eight, eight year old. Eight or nine years old yeah. at the most. That's the truth. Mm -hmm. And we always had to walk two or three miles to school. School. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What was your favorite toy growing up? Was that it or was it another toy? That was it, I reckon. We didn't get no toys. <laughs> we, we got off. We put up our stockings for Christmas and we got off orange and an apple and some sticks of candy in it. I think that's about all it was in it. I was talking Christmas morning. And I got a, a doll baby at, when I was in the uh, third and fourth grade at school again. Well, that's who was in that. And our teacher that year gave us a little doll and he had black feet. And, but it had straw in it and stuff. Hmm. I imagine it cost 25 cents, but that was a lot yeah. for the teacher to give you back then. And that was the only doll I ever got. The only uh, doll you ever got? Uh, yeah. Ever, ever got, that's right. What was your favorite thing to do for fun? 
Oh Lord, anything. I don't know what was the favorite. Yeah, we, we had fun. We played with each other. And we ride in the, you know, the tires till T model Ford was kind of little and big. And I could get in it. You ain't gonna believe it and do like this and sit in it. My sister drove me and drove me down that way. And I'd do the same thing for her. She could get in it too. How about as you got older, like a teenager, what did y'all do for fun? Well, we didn't have nothing to do but go to school and church. That was our going, and occasionally you got to go to Chesterfield. I thought it was something great to walk the streets of Chesterfield. Something special, huh? And I forgot I had a nickel or whatever ice cream cone cost. If I could ever get one of them, that was something special, too. Anyway. So. Now, did you have any chores? Oh yeah. What was what were they, and what what was your favorite and your least favorite? Well, all of them was least favorite. <laughs> we didn't want to do any of them. We had to milk the cow. We had to stop the hogs. We had to bring in the wood, fireplace wood in the kitchen, stove wood we called it. The boys would cut it and they would leave it on the wood pile, and us girls had to bring it in. Well, we had a, a scaffold they called it at the house where we slept, the big house as I call it. We piled that wood up on there and there's a little window and you brought it in there. What was your least favorite chore to do? I reckon play. <laughs> I reckon to play it wasn't no chore. <laughs> no, your least favorite. Which one? I know the least you said. Uh, well, we just done them. I don't know whether there was any small ones. We had to work in the field, chop cotton and pick cotton and all that kind of stuff. So we especially didn't like none of them, but we had to do it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I, don't know. I doubt you got an allowance. You didn't get any money, did you? No, we've got, except when we worked from other people and, and uh, they paid us, of course, we brought that home to mama. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And me and my sister, worked in the field when both of us had to work on one road to halfway keep up. But they let us work because I had an older sister who was a good hand, so I reckon that's why they let them. And then they'd have us to do uh, smaller jobs, of chores, like you see, like dropping uh, tobacco plants or water them with a little tin cup and pour a cup of water to each of them. They hauled it out there on a wagon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then doing worked in it when you cropped it and, and they put it, string, strung it on sticks and put it in the barn mm -hmm. and cured it and then they taken it out of the barn when it was cured and you had to grade it. They had to be graded back then in three grades, goods and the second and the trash lot. But now they just put it in a sheet and sell it like it is. They don't grade it. Hmm. Uh, what was school like for you as a child? Oh, it was fun. We played ball and we even carried us a board and had us a jump board at school. <laughs> it was hard getting it there, but we carried it. And we jumped rope and we played uh, uh, different games, you know, like we'd have the school one half to get on one end and one on the other and see which one could out pull the other. And jump. Put us up there. A board or a stick and see how high we could jump, run and jump. Mm -hmm. What was your best subject and your worst subject in school? Well, I was pretty good in all of mine. I can't remember making a C. I made A's and B's. Now, I won't say I didn't make a C, but I don't believe I liked, I liked arithmetic and I liked uh, history pretty good back then, but I always wondered why they wanted us to learn all them old dates and numbers of the things happened years back. What was your favorite subject? Well, it's pretty good in spelling back then. I guess arithmetic. But I like the spelling all right too. We we have the uh, fifth and sixth and seventh grade down each side of the room of the school. We all come down to the one room, mm -hmm. and we started spelling at the end and coming down. And me and one more girl stood the whole school up. Hmm. And we both went down on the same word. Oh, you remember what the word was? I think it was, um, I don't get mad here. 
a minute now. I didn't know. <laughs> I can't really remember now.